This is kind of a random subject for a video, but I thought it may help someone out. While killing time on YouTube a few days ago, I came across a video that dealt with HVAC blowers and repurposing them as shop fans, which is what I did with this one several years ago. The subject of the video that I saw said that if you do something like this, you need to either restrict the airflow into the squirrel cage, into the blower, or you need to restrict the discharge of the air because when this operates within the HVAC system, there is resistance that the airflow meets trying to force the air through the evaporator coils and through your duct system. And if it's left to run wide open like this. If the motor's left to run wide open, it's gonna draw too much amperage. The motor's gonna overheat and probably burn out over time. So the solution was either to restrict the airflow in, the intake, or restrict the discharge. And I'm going to restrict the discharge. And I've already been messing around with it. And this is the board that I'm gonna mount in the front. So I'm gonna cut off roughly two thirds of the discharge area. When I cut the fan on, I'm gonna slowly lower the board down to the point where I'm gonna mount it. And you'll hear a difference in the sound, the turbulence of the air, and the motor actually slows down a little bit also. Last night I put some caulk in that gap so it's dry enough to put some paint on it. So if you have rigged up one of these squirrel cage blowers, you may want to consider reducing the intake or the discharge to reduce the amperage draw on the motor. It might help it last longer. And even with that reduced, still plenty of airflow.